Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how we redid our daughter's room for under $75. And this is something that anybody can do. We're not like interior decorators or anything. We just wanted to redo our kids' room and we didn't have a ton of money. So to make this easy, what I'm gonna do is walk you through the room and just kind of show you where we got things. And if you wanna know like the prices and such, look on the bottom. I'm gonna have everything posted there as well as where we bought it. So let's get started. So we got this little tiny bookshelf from Ikea and it was very inexpensive. I'm gonna have all the prices linked down below for you guys. But Zoe likes to play some of her favorite books here. And in this cabinet here, she's got a bunch more books. So it's really cool because it's right here by her bed. And that way at nighttime, she can kind of just read up and relax in her room. So starting off with her bed, I'm gonna show you a quick clip here on how Mike and Zoe redid this bed. Hi guys. Hi guys, so we're going do a project and we're going to pay my bed and this is super exciting Now for the sheets, we got these at Burlington Coat Factory. And I wasn't really sure that they were gonna go with the rest of the room, but Zoe and Mike really liked them. So Mike thought it would be really cute for a little girl's room. And Zoe just loves unicorns. And as you can see underneath the comforter here is the same style unicorn sheet. This gray comforter here, my mom had gifted this for us. So these curtains were just an impulse buy. We saw these at Ikea as well as the curtain rod and we decided to get them for the girls room. There are two of them, the other one's over here. So we got both of them and decided instead of just doing gray and pink in the girls room, we're gonna change it up a little bit and add a pop of blue. So that was kind of cool. Now originally when we moved into this house, it was the brown, white, and then there was a big dark green stripe here that we just, ugh, we did not like at all. We just love the way it looks now because we were able to find some matching pink bulbs here. So these cute little LED lights that we got at Target. Let's see if you can see the detail there. There's like little flowers on the lights. It's just adorable. So, these are really cool because like I said, they're LED and they don't use up a lot of energy. So the bottom of this lamp is originally from Ikea and we got this lampshade at Ross. It was like five bucks. These are from Target. They were $3 each and <laughs> this is like a DIY little nightstand. This wasn't what we were originally gonna use, but for now we couldn't find a small enough one that we actually liked. So just for right now, we just have this set up like that so that way she has her little uh, desk light over here. So over here we have Chloe's crib, which she'll be sleeping in in a few months. And this is where Zoe stores her shoes for right now because her closet is strictly just toys right now. She's got kind of too many toys. So we're gonna be going through those soon. So this is definitely my favorite part of the room are these three pictures. Does anybody remember this Rainbow Fish book from back in the day when we were kids? I would say probably 1990-ish, 92, 93, this came out and this was probably one of the most popular books around. And these are very hard to find. We actually found these at a thrift store and you're not gonna believe this, but we looked it up on eBay and these are worth anywhere from 50 to $70 a piece. We spent maybe $2 each on them, maybe a dollar. Um, I'm gonna have to double check with Mike, but yeah, we spent like $2 each at the most on these things and they're worth like 50 to $70 a piece. Very, very, very cool. These are originals. So here's the other curtain that 
covers the window there. This is just Zoe's favorite toys to play with. Over here, she has another bookshelf that she has some bath bombs, her sunglasses, her regular glasses, and of course, her Shawkins watch. So, this is her Felicia doll. She named her Felicia, I don't know why. But Mike built her this little bed. And we have some of Zoe's favorite toys here. You might have recognized this toy from her first toy video ever. I'll link that here in the cards. This is for her baby alives and of course the Barbie dream house. And she's got a ton of other toys over here. The only other thing that you need to see is her little play mat. We got this at Burlington for like 15 bucks. So like you saw in the video, this bed has definitely been brought back to life. So it's probably one of my favorite things in the room as well as her bed. These cute, cute little lights. And these were on clearance, you guys, at Target. I think we spent like $6 on them. So I can't get over those though. So I really think the room does go pretty well together. We didn't want it like super matchy-matchy with all just two colors. I kind of like how it flows. And yeah, we're really happy with it. So we really appreciate you guys sticking with us. I know we haven't had a video up in a couple days because of back to school stuff. We're just getting back in the swing of things. But we really love getting to know our subscribers and reading all your guys' sweet comments. So make sure you're subscribed if you haven't and we'll see you guys in the next video. Look at Chloe's pulling my hair as we're speaking. We're gonna go pick up dad from work. So you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, my hair. Uh.